Good morning, everyone, and welcome back. Let's head in and see how last night's sleep research went. Great, 100 sleep score with a little bit less overall sleep. A little bit of toss and turn in as, uh, as the morning came, so that's to be expected. But a good block of snoozing sleep. I have not seen that pattern in quite a while. Uh -oh. But also some, some solid chunk of slumbering there. So I'm feeling pretty good, well, and rested. Balanced. Been so long since I've seen that. I'm so excited to see what that's going to turn into today. All right. Got 31 million drowsy power, <coughs> a full house, and a good mix. So let's see who showed up. All right, Metapod. All right, haven't seen them in a while. Got Wobbuffet. Oh, Vigoroth! This is a new Pokemon and a new sleep style. That's exciting. We got Eradicate. Marowak. Sveal. Ghastly. Caterpie. And Swalot. All right. Nice, uh, nice eclectic mix we have here today. And now Lapis Lakeside is one sleep style closer. Exercising sleep. <clears throat> this Pokemon isn't capable of sitting still. It's said that Vigoros blood is so agitated that it's unable to sleep deeply, even when it seems at first glance to be fast asleep. This is kind of the speed burst in the middle of the evolution line. Alright, let's see who's hungry. Perfect. Because that's exactly who I wanted. And just get that recruit in. Okay. Perfect! Great! Because I did only really want to use one more biscuit today. Everyone else I've got a pretty good beat on, so I feel pretty confident with the teams that I've got for it, so it isn't something that I have to necessarily go for. I mean, if I really wanted to, I could get the Wobbuffet, but I'd rather hold on to my biscuits. There's still a good amount of the week left, and there may be some more surprising event spawns coming as we get towards the end of the week. So, I'm going to leave it at that. However, I do think I am going to leave the Vigor off there just to get some more candy out to folks and just kind of celebrate, hey, got a new sleep style. Hmm, nice healthy chunk of research XP. Let's check some stats. Lonely Nature is a berry collector. 
And this one is collecting tomatoes and honey. Skill level up, helping speed, ingredient finder, skill trigger, skill trigger. Boy, oh boy. Very well, speed it help up. I mean, there's no berry finder on there, but at least helping speed on there and trying to trigger its ingredient magnet is actually not too bad at first glance. I'll take a look later and see how it goes. Our recruits from yesterday were not so great. So they they got they got to go visit the professor for a little bit. Okay. No missions completed. Still got a couple more days before that's gonna finish up. Okay. Oh! <clears throat> we got some news. Uh, this came in last night, so I did have a chance to take a look at this. So this is just kind of act as a public service announcement. Thank you for playing Pokemon Sleep. Beginning at local time on Thursday, February 29th, links with Facebook accounts will become unusable. Please know that you won't be able to transfer data via Facebook after the function becomes unusable. Note, the search via Facebook function for adding friends in the research community will become unavailable at the same time as the Facebook link function to users who are already linked to Facebook accounts. We ask that you link to an Apple or Google account or generate a transfer code soon. You can unlink your Facebook account before 10 a.m. on Thursday, February 29th. Once you unlink your account, you won't be able to link again. So, just ending support for that link, so make sure you're using your respective accounts, whether they be Apple or Google, just to make sure that that gets linked up. So in the event, knock on wood, that there is something catastrophic that happens to your device, your sleep data can be retained. And we've got the sleep report for the last good sleep day. Looks like we slept an additional 2 minutes and 41 seconds, more than the average. And on the 26th, a whopping 5 minutes. Ah! Oh. And it looks like on the Saturday, we slept a little less. People excited to get up and start enjoying the weekend. <laughs> and, as always, there's our reminder that, hey, end of the month. 23rd to the 25th will be when our next Good Sleep Day event is coming, so mark your calendars. Excellent. How's the community doing? 43! Not bad. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Kind of got a double tap there. Oh, thank you for finally triggering Blastoise. I feel like I almost never see you actually trigger. So at least we have enough of what's in there for milk. Uh -uh. But... I held off on doing a full-on cook. That's it. 
Let me remind myself here. I held off doing a full-on cook yesterday uh, simply because I did want to hold on to some more ingredients. I think I might have miscalculated that. Oh, I was on the screen I needed to. Still waking up, I guess. It's 11. That's what. It's 11 and 11, so I'm, I'm an apple short. That is a shame. Oh, you had a potato hanging out there for me. Because one of the new recipes is 11 apples and 11 cacao. And I thought it would just be nice to just get another recipe in the books. Because at this point, I'm getting a pretty good clip on where I want to be as far as like progress in the event so I wanted to try and hold off and I can still make milk with that it's not a full pot but uh, I'd like to be able to make something new so I'm gonna do what I did for dinner last night and hold off using some not using every single ingredient so that way I can make a new recipe. And so we see there's still room for 27 more ingredients. Yes, I've still got space to put that in there. But I'm going to hold off. It's not as strong as a dish as it possibly could. But I like being able to fill in those slots when available. Especially because so many of my ingredients have just not... <laughs> I haven't had a group together really more specifically built for making ingredients. Some sneaky snacking right before a rank up. And there we got to cooking 12 times. So that finishes out all of our Lapis Lakeside limited time missions. And all I have left for this week is make sure I get to bed on time tonight. Two more Pokemon, which usually because of the bonus biscuit means that uh, that sh is actually attainable this week. Thankfully, we had a lot of spawns. Uh, and... And just the next time I open the app, getting Snorlax some more berries for some more dream clusters. All within reach. So, that's going to take care of all the sleep research related stuff that I've got for you this morning. The uh, only other thing that I'll leave you with is curious on opinions of where are... Uh, where are y'all going to be heading for Valentine's Day? Are you going to be going back on the grind where you were going and just take advantage of those higher cooks? Or are you going to go back somewhere where you've got a team set up for better success to really reach those higher echelons of master rank? I'm just curious to know as I'm coming up with what I would like to do. I'm not 100% that I'm going to go back to Topolo. Uh, just seeing what I've got, knowing that it's going to be, it's a guaranteed lock position of you're going to be, you can have a potential guaranteed lock berry, but you know you're going to be working with desserts that week. So, something to think about. But that's going to take care of things for me for today. Thanks so much for stopping by. 
Let me know how your week's also going in the comments below, and I'll see you back tomorrow for some more sleep research. But until then, sleep well.